Hey, hey, YouTube, it's Jax from Bum Gaming. Welcome to the very first episode of Career Mode. So in this, we are going to do this. It's going to be the main new Career Mode. This is where we're going to try and rebuild this squad back up to its glory days, to its greatness days. Ollie out, Jackson. Here we go. Let's get right into it. Um, yeah, we're going to do main new. Hopefully we can... I mean, we're going to take all this stuff here because we need all the help we can get. This main new is booty. And I'm a Liverpool fan, so for me to be doing a main new Career Mode says a lot. Um, I'm going to be doing this guy here. That's why we get to customize our dude now. This is the first time I've done uh, career mode for FIFA 20. Usually I do a save beforehand. Kind of get into it a little bit. Or get the hang of it. But I haven't done this. So everything that we're doing now is going to be new for me and for you. So it should be quite interesting to see how we do. Um... Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, we do have some players in mind that we want to bring in already, right off the get go. I don't know. That looks pretty good. Absolute failure that is Man U. They they're tr terrible. We're I'm not gonna go ultimate because we're gonna go legendary. And if it turns out to be too easy, we'll go to ultimate. We're gonna do dollars, international jobs enabled, transfer window enabled, all this stuff enabled. Yeah. So the goal is to kind of win the treble, the FA Cup, the league, and the Champions League all in one season. That's how we know we're done. All right, we are going to accept an invite here to the preseason tournament. We're going to not play any games until the finals. But we're going to join the one that gives us the most money. Uh, we're going to be going to Germany, it looks like. International Cup, okay. Shirt sales, 135. That shouldn't be too bad with Pogba on there. All right, so our objectives, youth development. Sign two youth players to the senior team in the same season they were scouted. Play them in 10 matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming in as a sub. Okay, grow two youth to player academy by at least 10 overall points. As soon as they have grown, play them in five matches, either as the starting 11 or coming in as a sub. Okay, also not difficult because that's what we do. We, we develop the youth anyway. So they want us to win a Europa Cup. Okay, they want us to finish in a Champions League place. Look at the expectation now for Man U. It used to be win or nothing. Now it's absolute garbage, the expectations. It's terrible that it's like that now. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, reach the semifinal of the FA Cup. And then financial, there is no objectives because Man U, obviously, finances are not an issue for that club. So, again, De Gea is our goalie. We have Henderson out alone in Sheffield. He's the one who had that crazy debut for... He had that crazy game against Liverpool recently. And we have Pareda, we have O'Hara, we have Grant, and we have Romero. Grant is old and on. We're going to try and sell him. Just get rid of that contract. We got Borthwick Jackson on loan... Williams, Mitchell, Shaw. To know any of these guys. Hmm. We're going to loan him out, though. I like Shaw. He's good. We'll keep Shaw around. And now center backs. We have a shitload of center backs. Lindelof's going to be our starter. We have Phil Jones as backup. Him and Harry Maguire will be the pairing. Lindelof and Maguire. Eric Colani is going to go on loan. He's a young kid. Eric Colani is on loan, so we, we're going to leave that alone. Oh, we're going to send him out on loan. Smalling's on loan. We got Tuan Zabe. Now, he's going to be a decent player. We're going to keep him around. He's going to come off the bench and play with Bailey. Rojo, we're going to try to get on, get some money for him, because I think his contract is a little crazy, too, right? Let's see. Yeah, I think it's $105,000 a week. That's crazy, his contract. All right. Right backs, so we have Fosu Mensa, Dalo. I'm pretty sure he can play both sides. I think he can play both sides of the field. If he can, he'll be useful for... Yeah, he can play left back too. Yeah, he'll be useful for us behind Luke Shaw because we have Aaron Juan Basaka and we have Fosu Mensa. We don't need that long. That's how we can use him on the left. And we can get rid of Ashley Young. He's absolutely not going to do anything for us. And I have no love for him. As for the center mids or CDMs, we have McTominay who's going to be my guy. I'm high praise for this kid. So I love him. I think he's great. We have James Gardner, and then we have Matic. We're going to loan out Gardner so he can grow. We have McTominay, that. We have James. Those are obviously going to be our starter on the left side there. I don't know much about him. I haven't played him. I haven't seen him play a couple times in a Prem. That's it. He's obviously rapid as hell. Speed dribbler, shot taker. It doesn't look like he's cheap. Comes to us cheap. We have Chong, too. We're going to sign again. Delegate renewal. Oh, we'll sign him right now. I'm not even going to wait about it. 
he's a young talent. He's going to be there for the future. So I don't want to. I don't want him to be around or even be chanced at going anywhere. We have Pogba, who we're going to keep. Lewitt, who's a young kid. He's Welsh, so we're also going to loan him out. Fred, we're going to keep around as a backup. Gomez, we all know what talent he could be. So we're going to hold on to him. He'll get some playing time. Mata, I'm looking to get on because he's just past his prime. He's $150,000 a week, and he doesn't do anything. Barrera can play in the middle as well. We have Martial. Oh, he's on loan to Inter. I didn't know that. I thought he was sold. We have Mason Greenwood, who's also a future talent. I'm going to delegate renewal. I'm going to sign that right now. And we have Rashford. I am not a fan of Rashford. But I like what we have. I think we can do some damage with a couple key pieces coming in. So I'm going to scout these players that I want. And I'm going to put them in a squad list. And then we'll go through it. So I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So as you can see, these are the players that we have shortlisted. So we have James Madison from Leicester, who I think would fit right into the young English thing we're doing here. We have Jack Grealish, who I'm a big fan of in real life. I love the way he plays. I think he's phenomenal. Again, we're scouting all of these players. Jaden Sancho, who we're going to look to bring in right away. Um, this was a target for Man U in the summer transfer window. Didn't close it. I'm going to try to get it done now before the beginning of the season. Try to do what Man U couldn't. Try to do what all he couldn't. Makes amounts one that we're looking to bring in too, man. I love this kid. I think he's going to be a baller. At the center mid position right there in the center midfield. Next to like a Tarkow, uh, not Tarkowski, um, McTominay or in front of him a little bit with Pogba. You know, Connor Coney will bring in some experience in the center back position behind McGuire or Lindelof and a good position battle between all of them. We have Archie Davis as well for the right back position behind Aaron Wambasaka, someone who's rapid, someone who can run up and down the field. James Tarkowski, who uh, I think he's my pick that I'm probably going to go after right now. Um, I love James Tarkowski. He's phenomenal. We also have Fakayo Tomori, who's obviously balling in real life for Chelsea. Young center back, fast, strong, good in the air, good tackles. Scored that banger, too. He's a good player. And then we have Harvey White for the left back position. And also can play CDM, which is kind of cool. A a left-footed center uh, CDM, which you don't see often. But also could be very valuable. So we're running scout reports on all of them. The only one that we're probably going to try and sign right away is Jaden Sancho. But we'll leave any transfers for the second episode this one right now i'm gonna kind of go into it with whatever we have so i don't know how this works people are saying it just goes right to the end now yeah it does just go right to the end wow so like, oh rashford damn i don't even like rashford he got himself a hat trick damn yeah i know this episode is taking a little long but it is the first one we got to get our affairs in order hopefully we get a win here so, oh we get a one oh yeah he's daniel james and of course rashford missed the pk all right we're gonna simulate this game here we're sitting in first right now Hopefully we can finish getting this win. Finish the season off in first. 4-1. Nice. McTominay gets a goal. Pogba, Maguire, and Rashford. Man, did I just see Byron sign Kyle Walker? Not Juan Mata. Pogba, too. Pogba's in good form right now. I'm liking Pogba. All right, guys. So this is going to be our style lineup. We're going to go with the hand goal. Luke Shaw on the left. Maguire, Lindelof, and Juan Masaka in the back line. We're going to have McTominay at CDM. James Madison and Pogba at CM. Then we're going to have... Daniel James on the left. We're going to have Rashford up top for now. And Jaden Sancho on the right. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this dude here. If he doesn't get me at least 15, 20 goals this season, he's gone next season. I'm not, just not a fan of him. And as you guys can see, the top goal scorers are tied between Timo Werner and Marcus Rashford. So we're going to have the the matchup of top school goal scorers. So either one of them can still win it in the last game. And we have Juan Mata with two. Pogba by Maguire. Um, the only one who's not on the list who doesn't belong is... Oh, no. Timo Werner can't... He went to Leipzig? He went to uh, Leverkusen? Wow. I just noticed that. He went to Bayern Leverkusen. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the episode. Again, it's been your boy, Jackson Bum Game Man. Thank you guys for watching. If you do like the video, drop a like down below. And I'll catch you guys in episode two for the final. Later.